everybody I always ask me that. Why I can't be like everybody just like their own me. Hello, my name is Ngozi Wright, and my guest in this episode for our Child Month interview series is social media sensation Andre Dixon, who we all know as Dino Crazy. Hi, Dino Crazy. Thank you for talking with Hi. me. All right. I'm gonna tell you before we start. I'm kind of nervous, and so all right. Also, we have any sleep right now. What was your childhood like? Good question. Mm. Oh, my grow up like my grow up with like one sibling and me and my mommy. You get me? And it's like my grow up away like I see my mommy struggle certain way. So I'm gonna try like um, um, um I brought up to learn to like love and take care of who we love. So it's like we never have it back then. Were you the class clown? Everybody I got always ask me that. Why I can't be like everybody just like their own me because of a personality. Hmm? Of course my class clown. Make everybody laugh because of a personality. They get me? Yeah. When did you know that comedy is what you wanted to do? Sometime when I re re like really what you really want in a life, or when you not search for you get. So it's like you find your true talent. I'm gonna feel like comedy was something where me, like I never realized until my friend them start showing me. I say, yo, you know you, yo, yo, you can't get joke. You're funny. You get me? I'm gonna say I'm gonna try this, and it worked. What's your worst fear of being a comedian? Worst fear. You know, I don't really have no worst fear. Because in my life you can't have fear. You have to just do what you love and do what you are to live with. So you can't have fear no nothing what you have to try to do or do. Tell me about your first video and what made you want to want to create it. My first video, hey, my first video, you know what? I don't remember my first video. But I kinda remember the first video where it really go viral. Um it was a it was a a video where I said, Bad mind, you have to go live with it. And if you like me, you know you never say, no, you're too young, you're not gonna understand, you're too young. Boss in the nineties. You believe me? No. Okay. You're smart enough. Yeah. Is there a downside to being popular on social media? Downside. Well, yes and no. Only if you can like angle like social media because you have to look out for cyberbully, you have to look out for haters. You get me? And that will make you feel depressed. So if you can control all that, then you will win. And if you can't control, just leave the media alone. You understand? Yeah. What challenges have you faced and how did you overcome them? Challenges. I'm face and overcome. Like, people used to say, yo, you're not funny. You need to come out for the social media. So it's like, you can't make people word bully. You have to know what you want at all ways, at all times. Because if you follow what people say, you would, trust me, you're not going to go far. Can someone have a successful career from social media? Definitely. Most people start from social media. Most people just build a social media and gone viral and start make living. So yeah, of course. What's your worst fear of being a comedian? You know, I never, nobody never really asked me them questions. So like, I never that, like, think about you asking me these questions. So it's kind of shock, shocking to me. So it's like, I have to think, like, um, mm, ask about the question again. What's your worst fear of being a comedian? Worst fear of being a comedian. I don't really have a worst fear because I feel like I find my. my, my I find my talent. So I feel like I'm the best thing ever. 
What is your av advice to children who have the dream of making it in entertainment one day? Just stay in school, get a good education, and listen to what mommy say. She always right. You gotta you got realize when they go older, she always right. So it's like, just stay in school, keep positive, and keep good friends, and you will survive in school. Would you advise parents to allow their children to choose to be an entertainer and t and not take up an a academic job? It really depends. It really depends because you can have a, a, a job and still have a talent. You can be a singer, you can be an actor and still have a job. But it's like which one you really want uh, never one like we really need because you know needs and wants are very different so it's like if you really need it and that's your passion then go about it your flow ads are everywhere what was it like to get such a big sponsorship i feel very proud you know as a as a as a as I start out not knowing where i probably like end up it's like you yeah, trace something way you never think would have be a, a success. And we create this whole comedy so people like see we in our different light. You get me? We create our own like ideas and how we put it together and and how we go about like it's it's very like we can't even explain it to you because you're so young. We don't really want more we really want to talk to you in the proper way. I know you're very smart. So it's like we create things where people don't normally see. And it it, it, it it give people it will make people happy. You know, and that's my job. My life will make people happy and it make me happy when we see people happy. You get me? So I'm gonna try my best to put out as much content and stay consistent and, and just because really and truly, I'm never there for the money or there for the fee. I just do it because I feel like I have to do it and it makes me happy inside. You get me? So I just continue. I will never stop. What should be done to tackle sexual abuse among children? That kind of touchy. Because I don't think I can say them things up on camera. Because I feel, feel like. Uh, we, have to, we have to ask the government. We need to care about so we'll talk to him because we don't feel like it's right. And we feel like people forget punish real bad certain things. Yeah. Who's your hero? Who's my hero? God. God am my hero. Who's your hero? My hero? Well, the story is kind of funny. I would have to say my father is my hero because, well, one time I remember I was I was, um I was at this place. I don't remember where I was, but so my father told me um this we forgot something in the place. So my father told me to go inside um for the for the for the thing um and then when I went inside there was this dog and then this dog. This dog had a, a whole lot of attitude. The dog, the dog, no, I'm not. Uh, the dog was just staring at me and looking at me and looking at me. And start and, growing. Yes, then this dog start started growling. I, and I think he smelled the, the fear on me, so he took advantage of that. And then he started running me down. He started literally running me down, and me, like, I was just. I was no, just standing there you're like very quick, quick, quick like you're actually running like a dog. <laughs> mm? I didn't I didn't get to run like, uh, I didn't get to run away so far. Like the dog would be like right here and then the, I, I only got to run like halfway down there. And then daddy come save you. Daddy just came and saved me. Daddy daddy looked at the dog like Just up. <laughs> daddy then, Superman. <laughs> And then, and, then, and, then, and then I don't know where daddy got this from, but he, I don't know where he found it from, but he, but he went into the yard and then he, he went in, into the place. Um, he got, he got this, he got this, um, 
wood wood broom. Wood, yeah. And then all I all, all I heard was whoosh, 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 whoosh. And the dog and then the dog and then the dog was oh, oh. and then and then I just saw the dog running out and then the dog was looking at me like Nah trouble again. <laughs> me? So I would have to say that my father is it's my a, hero. Alright, my father is my hero. But like what you wanna be like, like when you grow up? Like older. I don't, when I when I get older, I want to be the first female governor general of Jamaica, alongside um, I want to be a singer and a dub poet. Dub poet, you see that's a talent. You see, I also have a, like a job, like you really want to do so. As me say, you can you can do both. You get me, but which one you need? You understand now? So that's what I'm talking about. So um, which grade in? I mean, grade four. Grade four. And I ask me them question here. Yeah? Somebody write them question for you. Tell the truth. I wrote them. But I think but I think um when they were when they were um like putting it on the cards, I think they maybe fixed it up a bit. Oh. Smart. Before we go, what's your advice to Jamaican youths? Just always stay positive, think positive and work hard and do the right thing and stay in school. Yeah. And that's all the time we have for this episode in our Child Month interview series. Great talking with you, Dina Crazy. Thank you, Rosie. I'm in Gozi Right. Thanks for watching.